Hey nerds, welcome to our Play or Pass series. I'm your host, Joe Tweeden, and every week I pull out new titles from the Xbox Game Pass Vault, take them for a spin, and give you my first impressions on said title. And at the end of every video, I leave you with a stamp of Play or Pass. Welcome to Origami 2. It's a third-person stealth game where you play as an assassin with the power to control the shadows. Join the Shadow Clan and fight the invader armies to protect your people. Guys, this came out September 17th of this year. It's developed by Lince Works. It's the sequel to the title of the same name. And it's on all platforms, but especially on Game Pass today. Guys, without further ado, let's get to it. Hmm. Not gonna lie. Was I in a fight with these guys and I killed them all? <laughs> Either way. I look cool. Um, I, I, again, I did, I think I did a, a player pass on the first one. Oh yeah, see we're in the shadows. This indicates we're in the shadows. I love this, the look of it. It's very cool, the style anyway. Um, like I said, I sampled the first one, shamefully, did not play the first one all the way through, guys, but we are still going to give this a go. Uh, it's got the gamer tag underneath, my, I'm guessing, my health bar, and it looks like I'm on the verge of death. Hold A to jump higher. Go short or higher. Double jump, okay, that exists. Yep, alright, we already figured that out. <laughs> Alright, this is a really, so far, a really smooth still. Let's see, press right trigger to teleport. And available ledge. Right trigger. Bear in mind, Shadow Leap uses stamina. Okay, well, it looks like my stamina bar is full. Oh, that, like, almost used, like, the whole thing. But I'm okay with that, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoo, I think we are high up. I'm not sure what we're going to... Press B to drop from the ledge. Okay, that looks like a safe spot, right? Okay, we didn't need to use any abilities. We just need to double jump. Yeah, I... I love the fact that this is a third-person ninja stealth game. Press B to dash, hold B to sprint after performing a dash. Both use stamina, so here, press B. There's dash, and then dash, hold. So sprinting uses a lot of stamina, yep. All right, we have learned that. It's like, where are we? I am curious about the, uh, kind of curious about the story on this. I imagine a lot of the gameplay is kind of the same. That's the first one. Ooh. 
We're a weird boundary, a blurry boundary. Hmm. All right. Uh oh. Oh, stealth. Use the environment to remain hidden and avoid making noise when you're close to an enemy. Press left stick to crouch. By crouching, you become less visible and move silently. Crouching in tall grass makes you unnoticeable. Rooftops and other tall structures provide secure vantage points. Remaining in the shadows affect your enemy's ability to spot you. Okay. Crouching. But also, like... Oh, what, 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 what does that do? All right, well, we'll figure that out in a minute. <gasps> tall gra- Ooh, we're in some tall leaves, foliage. I wouldn't call this grass. Okay. Yes, I can lock on to them, but like, and there's a stat for killing them, but I, uh, I don't need to kill them, do I? Uh, I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure you get, you're more rewarded for just straight up avoiding everyone, right? I don't know, we're about to find out here in a minute. Uh, Shadow Leap. Let's do it. Oh, climb up. I feel like I'm exposed. Oh, they're right there. And although I'm out of sight, there's like nothing to keep me truly hidden. Right, so I'm up here. So, you know, okay, there's a gold thing there indicating that that's where I need to be going. Alright, I guess I'm meant to be over here. Oh, what is this? It's like a shrine, but nothing for me, apparently. I don't know. Like, I'm totally exposed. Okay, now I'm not. Like, I was exposed a second ago, and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, <laughs> uh, not cool, you know? Uh, can we stay hidden and secure? All right, well, we're secure. Reach the area. Prologue. Okay, what's... I like how specific that is. Reach the area. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, there's... Yep, that is a target. We're not going there, though. I guess I'm going to hop down until I get close enough to shadow jump. Alright, here we are. And here's some more shadows. Yeah, we're still in the shadows. Look at that skill. Shadow vision. Oh snap. Here we go. Let's you see enemies and other interactive elements through obstacles and also shows the current mission objective. Hold left trigger to use shadow vision. Use shadow vision to survey an area and pinpoint enemy patrols. Okay, let's hide. Let's hold the left trigger. Ah, uh, watching... Enemy patrols definitely gives me splinter cell vibes. But also like, hell yeah to the ninja the game, you know? It's, it's cool, it's fun. Alright, here we go. Climbing up here, staying hidden. Unnecessarily using the special shadow vision even though we are in plain sight of them. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, it says, I, you know, it keeps giving me the lock on to target thing, but uh, I'm, I keep wondering, like, how useful it is, is it? Am I, am I supposed to kill them, or is it better I don't? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop, because I just saw him turn away, and I think that that benefits all, all of us.
Alright, so here's the thing. I'm avoiding everyone. Like, adequately, I feel. Ooh. Um, can I take anyone down secretly, safely? Can I? Is that an option? Uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Blair discovered time is one. What? What does that mean? Oh, okay, that's not a multiplayer element. That is number of times I've been discovered. Dang it. Alright, well, cat's out of the bag. We ruined that. <laughs> That was a stat that was supposed to stay zero. And we done made that a times one. That's unfortunate. Alright. Alright, that sucks. Alright, reach the area. Again, still don't know what that means, but you know what? We're gonna keep working our way out of here. Oh! Okay. I didn't do that. That guy's death is not on me, okay? I'm just, you know, I'm just letting you know. Support items. Grant different instant effects that can make the difference between winning or losing when used in the appropriate moment. To use support items, open the menu wheel by pressing left bumper and select the item you want to use. Once selected, use it by pressing right bumper. Left to open the menu, right to use. Use the vitality potion to restore your vitality and continue your journey. Okay, hold this. Um, I think I just used it, right? Right bumper vitality. Okay. Oh, there we are. Hey! I finally healed. Like it was something that needed to happen, you know? Press X close to an unaware enemy for assassination. Knock out with Y close to an unaware enemy with Y. Okay, we've been wondering. And I don't think killing has any consequences, so you know what we're going to do. We're going to assassinate with X. We're going to go slow. We're going to hit X. Oh, look at the blood. Oh. I'm not being weird and getting off on it, guys. It's just, it's just, just no. Oh, it says throw. Throw or hold the, hold Y to drop or Y to throw. Hey! <laughs> there we go. No evidence. The body is gone. <laughs> oh, but the blood is not. And it shines in the moonlight. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna casually move on to the next area. Oh my goodness, we're meeting an actual... Another ninja. Sometimes combat is inevitable, but you should consider a strategic retreat when the odds are not in your favor. Press right stick to lock the camera onto an enemy and switch to a combat stance. You'll now have the chance to practice the basics of combat without it taking any damage. Right stick. Okay. Press X to attack. Attack the enemy three times to continue. So it's either a tutorial or a... Um... I don't know. I'd love to put him over the edge. I think that'd be fun. Hold Y to block enemy attacks. Receiving an attack while blocking will use your stamina. Running out of stamina will leave you vulnerable to the opponent attacks. Block three attacks to continue. Parry. Press Y right before an enemy attack lands to trigger a parry, lowering your opponent's stamina to parry three times. Alright. Y just before the attack. Those are always kind of hard. Alright. 
There we go. And there we go. Yes. Press B to dash and evade enemy attacks. Use it while moving to dash in a certain direction. Perform a dash while you use your stamina three times to continue. Here we go. There we go. Your opponent's vitality and stamina are displayed above their head when locked on. A character's stamina will decrease when performing a dash or block, or when receiving a parry. A dash or block, okay. When your opponent's stamina depletes, you'll be able to perform a critical attack, inflicting huge damage on enemies with low vitality. Performing a critical attack will trigger a combat execution. Your practice is over, so you can take damage now. Defeat this enemy to proceed. Alright. Did I just knock him out? Oh snap. Kill. Kill! I don't know. Sorry. I just... It's, it's really common for me to do that in games. So I just assumed. Alright, over the edge. Yes! <laughs> Goodbye, sir. You will not be needed for the duration of this game. Or for the, you know, the additional... Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Assassinations and knockouts can also be performed from above when landing on an unaware enemy. X while falling on an unaware enemy for assassination or Y for knockout. X. X to execute. I like that. Oh, beautiful. Y. Is it beautiful? I just. It is. I just. I. I don't uh, know. I don't know. I enjoy that crap. Call me twisted. I love the fact that I can th <laughs> throw them over the edge. I'm sorry. It's funny that that I can do that. It's, you know, not... Anyway, sorry. Slightly twisted. Let's go. Yes, assassinate or die. I'm not sure. Did you die? Do I get the... I didn't... Oh, I didn't kill you. That's kind of my bad. Okay, X is kill. Why do I keep... Why do I keep not killing them right away? Like, it almost feels like a tease. Like, oh, shame on you. Like, why wouldn't you kill them? Lean on walls or similar surfaces to acquire a different stance that will let you peek around corners and activate special kill or knockout types. Alright, well, that seems cool and all. Hashtag also not super... Concerned, I just want to make the kills, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of like, all right, here we go. Ah, oh, that was glorious. Oh, active combat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, no, leaning on walls ain't going to help me now. I'm like dead. All right, guys. I think they have definitely improved on a number of things from the first Origami. Um, I like the style. I like the gameplay. It's it's smooth. It's intuitive. It's easy to figure out. Guys, I'm not ready to jump into like a full playthrough on this one, but for the sake of recommending it based on my feelings of this brief period of time with it, I'm going to give this a full stamp of play. It's on Game Pass, 100% free. Origami 2, guys, if you like the first one, I think you'll like this one. The Ninja Stealth is real, and it's good. Guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. To keep up to date with all our playthroughs, walkthroughs, first looks, and podcasts, and as always, my gaming nerds, I'll see you on the other side.